I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. And I'm Erica Botker, AccuQuilt's creativity expert. Have you ever wanted to make a 3D quilt block? Create that illusion of peaks and valleys in just one single block? If so, you're in luck. AccuQuilt's Go Mosaic number no. four die will let you create 10 inch finished quilt blocks in no time and no t paper templates needed. That's right. The shapes are on a six by 24 inch die board. Now make sure you use a six by 24 inch cutting mat to go with it as well. All right, let's take a look at this all die. Right. First of all, it only has two shapes, the chisel shape and the half square triangle. Right. Both of them are screen printed for easy piecing. And we have those specialized dog ears. And right here from here to here is that quarter inch seam allowance. Right. But I love how we have so many pieces mm -hmm. to cut all 64 in just one pass through the cutter. All right, now we are going to show you how to make a block using this die, and it's from the Go Majestic Mosaic Throw Quilt that's hanging right behind us. It's a free pattern at AccuQuilt.com. So you'll lay your fabric on the die, and you've got, we've got our light kind of purpley color, we've right. got our dark. Right, and our black. And our black, Which, that's gonna go over the chisel shapes. Right, and then? the two colors of yellow, which are gonna go over the shape Bs. Perfect. All right, so I have my fabric, I've subcut it, so I can just lay it over those okay. ch chisel shapes. And then again, I've subcut my fabric to lay over shape B. Fabulous, That's okay. It. And we need a six by 24 inch mat with this one, and we can put it right through our cutter. All right, give it a little love, slide, don't lift. Perfect, Erica. All righty. All right, Erica, so now that we have our pieces cut, right. there's a tip on how to sew these little half square oh, okay. triangles together. So what we're gonna do is we are going to build our half square triangles just like this, okay? And we're gonna okay. add the dark yellow right. to all the black. And then if you wanna build some of the purple ones, okay. the light and the dark, we're gonna do it that way. That way we can sew our pieces correctly. It's gonna to go together perfectly because we have those dog-eared corners, all right? Yep, and you can find this in the pattern, so mm -hmm. that's a free download at AccuQuilt.com. Right, all right, so I'm just gonna sew a couple of these together because we have some pieces sewn. And this is a great chain piecing project. Like when I was making my blocks, mm -hmm. I did all of this um, kind of prep work first. Great. All right, here we go. All righty. Now, would you like these pressed open? Please or press to the them dark open. Side? We're press gonna them press open. them open because you're gonna get quite a bit of bulk in there Perfect. if you don't. All right. Okay. So now we're gonna continue making our little half square triangle units. So I'm gonna sew two of these together and I'm also gonna lay out my light purple. There we go, we pulled those light purple. And again, they're only gonna have the light yellows. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is show you how to create the block. So we're gonna start by sewing two black and gold together to create this corner. Right. And then we're gonna add a black to the dark purple and a black to the light purple, and then sew the purples together. So again, a great chain piecing block. It just allows you to get your pieces all together. And you're gonna see how perfect that comes together at the corner yes. because we have that corner um, inch seam allowance built in. Fantastic. So I already have the, this corner, so let's okay. make one of these corners. So we're gonna take our black and dark, right? And then we're gonna take a light purple and a light yellow. Okay. Now, again, you're gonna wanna line up your seams when you're sewing this together so you get those perfect seams you want to sew a quarter inch seam. 
Perfect. I'm going to borrow your scissors. There we go. Okay, and we'll let okay. you press that one open. And then we're going to create our final corner. All right. We're going to sew those two together. All righty, Miss Erica. All right. I bet you're going to sew those top two together. I now. am indeed. So we're going to show you um, how we're going to sew these two together. Okay. And then we're going to sew the bottom two together and then we're going to finish sewing our blocks. I have a total of two already made. So that'll help us with our process today. Now, here's what you want to make sure, Erica, is that when you're lining up these pieces here, mm -hmm. they just need to be right there straight together. And you'll be so proud of me oh. because I think you might want to even put a pin in there. Well, there you go. So that your piece lines together it's beautifully. Just a little piece of insurance. Yes. It takes a little practice to get them straight. You might, for your first blocks, get like one or two threads off there. It's okay. Just, just be patient just with the with process. Just stick with it. That's why we make a practice one, right? Yes. All right. So now I'm going to sew my halves together. Okay. And I'm going to keep pressing, and then we'll be ready to put this one together as well. And then we can put the four units together into the final block. Oh, see, that Fantastic. lined up really well. Yeah. And again, press that seam open. Yes, ma'am. So I'm going to do the exact same thing here. Again, it's really important to get that little seam right there to line up. And then look at how fun that block went together. Now we're ready to lay out our units as soon as I press this. One, yes, right? and we'll show you how to create that 3D look. So the way that I remember it is that if you start with the dark purple on the bottom and work your way around, um, the black kind of serves as almost a border. All right, so Erica, I'm going to sew these two rows together, have you press them opposite directions so they okay. nest, Perfect. and then we'll be done with one of our blocks. I love that. All right, Miss Erica, let's open it up and see how it looks. There we go. What a stunner. And I love that 3D kind of look that it mm -hmm. has. And the points meet in the middle because we've pressed our seams open. It's just a beautiful block. So here is the 10 inch cube and companion triangle and a square. This is the companion angles. Right. And then here's the five inch cube, same block five inches. So this is that great corner piece. Right. And then Erica, this is actually a flying geese. That makes the, the diamond or the kite shape on top. All right, you'll put all your sections together. Once your top is all completed, you'll want to give it a really good press. Right. And you're done. Next up, go ahead, layer it with your batting and your backing. Pin or baste, get ready to quilt. Now, this Majestic project has some really great teachable moments, which came perfectly together with our cubes. Don't forget this pattern is a perfect example of how our cubes and bobs are designed to work together. That's right. Now, be sure and share your finished projects with us on our social media platforms, because at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more.